Okay, hopefully this gets it all in one take. And hopefully I'm loud enough for this mic to pick up. So, after a wild year of being sold around the world in all these different countries, Japan, China, South Korea, Denmark, Europe, European countries, European territories, Canada, Mexico, United States, Target, Walmart, (laughs) Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Half Price Books, just all across the board. It went everywhere. Poland, it just hit... um, hit Moldova, like countries I haven't had on my brain since like geography class. Cause you know, you just forget about stuff like that. It's just super cool. But here's the thing. Cause I don't mean to sound unappreciative and like, that's not cool. Cause it's super cool. This is a lifetime achievement of cool right there. But books can only do so much and ideas as important as they are. And I can rag all day about how much I love literature and the importance of it and why we need it and why we need to expand literacy and the mission of what it means to be a bookseller in the modern era, yada, 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 yada. A lot of people just don't like to read. Huge segments of the population just don't want to pick up a book. They don't want to read traditional literature, even if it's got a modern spin or however it's marketed with a modern cover, cartoons, uh, nonfiction, poetry, whatever genre you want to go for. However, the future of reading lies in probably not books. And I know that sounds like an oxymoron. What do you mean? What do you mean the future of reading isn't in books? What I mean by that is more people are reading than they've ever been reading before. You've got people reading Facebook, Twitter, Messenger, uh, memes, which a meme is just a digital exchange of information through an image that's usually comedic in nature, but it's communication. And that's all writing really is. It's communication that's preserved, right, on a piece of paper. But it's whatever way you want to cut it and slice it, it's still preserved human communication. That's literature and ideas and narrative, which is still communication. You're communicating to an audience. The root of every book is alphabetized communication (laughs) through a serial ISBN code. That's the heart of the matter. What I mean by the future of literature won't be in books is I think it'll be in the way we communicate through media, images, uh, not necessarily just movies and and clips and YouTube and those type of medias, but the way that we communicate to other human beings is now becoming more and more digital and digitized. You know, back in 2010 to 2011, when I first stepped in the literary industry, the industry was changing because of the sudden switch to ebooks and the nooks and all the devices that were coming online at the time that have now become really streamlined and accessible to everybody beyond laptops and desktops. You know, specific e readers meant just for books. But I think the, the true future, far past all of these devices and technological utilities and accessibilities that we have now, I think that we communicate maybe not through a piece of paper. I think we communicate through image, sound. The terms that I'm looking for don't even exist yet. There is no language to communicate what I mean about the future of language, ironically. We don't have it into actuality and reality yet. The What I'm trying to say is, I don't think that books will, as important as books are, and I hope books are here forever until the civilization destroys itself or the sun blows up, I I hope that there will always be pieces of parchment with good information that's captivating on it. But I think that innovating and pioneering in new directions means learning to communicate in ways that go outside of that four by four page. Um, you know, we have social media and we're enraptured with social media and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And we're devouring, consuming, creating, writing. As everybody, the general public is writing messages and messaging statements on these platforms and apps. Everybody's a writer. They just don't realize it. They may not have a publishing contract. They may not be uh, sold in 20 stores or sold in an indie store, commercialized or unknown or infamous, but people are writing. They are expressing their thoughts and beliefs and ideas through digital mediums. So we as booksellers need to rise to the occasion to get there. We need to get to that point. We need to go to that space and that place and create and and mine that place because it's so new to enable the future of literacy, whether it's on a page, off a page, or in a cloud. <laughs>